Okay, here is another um, collector's plot routine. It's one of my favorite plots in card magic. I love collectors, and for this one, you're going to need three spectators to help you out. Okay, so spectator number one, as I riffle down the edge of the packet, if you would just call out stop, they're going to say stop. They're going to take a look at and remember this card. This will be spectator number one selection. You would then turn to spectator number two, ask them to call out stop. They're going to then stop you, and they're going to take a look at this card here. This is spectator two selection. And then one more time for spectator number three, as I riffle down, just call out stop. They're going to take a look at their selection, and they're going to remember this card here. Okay, so three selections lost into three different parts of the pack. Now, to help us find those selections, we are going to need the help of one card in particular. Do you guys know which one that is? That would be the Ace of Spades, the Magic Bullet, okay? And in order to make it even more difficult for that Ace of Spades to help us find the selections, we are going to give the cards one final shuffle, like this, just to lose those selections into the pack. Once we've done that, we can then take our Magic Bullet and we can just use it as a magic wand and just wave it over the pack. Once you've done that, it only takes just a second, and then instantly the ace of spades should locate the other aces, the heart, the club, and the diamond. But not only that, they've now trapped three cards, but not just any three cards. That would be the king of hearts, your eight of clubs, and your seven of hearts, all trapped between the aces. And that is called Percy's Collectors by Jim Swain. You can find that in 21st Century Card Magic, and I thought it was a really great idea um, for you guys that like to use the Pharaoh. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care.